Occasionally, uh, there will be a discussion among knife makers, be it on the internet or other places, regarding knife photography. And it's very important. It's important to have your knives photographed in order to get the PR. And by far, the best thing you can do is hire a professional, one of the folks out there that know how to really take pictures of knives, which can be a difficult uh, object to take a picture of properly. There are people out there that know how to do it very well, and it is money well spent to go to them and have your knives photographed and published. Uh, they, they know how to do all of the above. But but occasionally you do have the need to take your own photos and nothing has made that more within the realm of possibility than digital photography. I never could take a picture to save my life with film, but as soon as these digital cameras came out, the whole world changed. Now the camera is actually smarter than I am when it comes to taking pictures. And so even somebody as inept as I am at photography can take pictures that get published and mine regularly do. But one of the conversations that uh, comes up quite often is the accessories once you have the camera to take uh, pictures of your knives. And there's a lot of things that people go out and buy and you try to get set up with a studio. So I wanted to share what I did here in my shop because to be honest, I do not have the room to set up a dedicated area for photography. I just have too many other things in this small space to do that. And so it can be a real problem to have to tear the whole shop down, set up lighting and all the props and everything you need to take pictures, just to tear it back down, get back up, back to work, and then say in a day or two, have to do it again maybe. And so I came up with this many, many years ago and it's worked out really well and I wanted to share it with you so that maybe it would help you, give you some ideas to help, uh, help you set up your shop in a space-saving way that will allow you to take pictures fairly easily. So let me show you now what I would call my instant photography studio that I can set up at a moment's notice in my shop. Time me if you'd like. our subject, Now I'm ready to start taking pictures with some supplemental equipment, like some reflective mirrors that I made up that will help me direct the light onto the knives. Now let me show you some of the elements of the whole package that I just sort of unfolded there. The first part of my system is this background roll or roll of backgrounds that I've set up. And what I'll do is I'll find either pieces of cloth that I think are very interesting or a really good source if you find uh, wallpaper uh, samples that are really interesting. Go to, I guess, uh, wallpaper stores that have some wilder patterns or some interesting patterns that you can use. But fabric will work well uh, also. But I just uh, have it on a roll so I can roll it up. And if I want to roll it up and say, use one of the lower patterns, then I just unroll it like that. Or I can roll it back up. And it stores, it stores away very easily. Now something else to consider, and I do this as well, is I have some very smooth, neutral photo gray backgrounds or other colors that uh, are very neutral and it's just a smooth uninterrupted background that I can lay the knife on top of 
and I can take the pictures as long as I have a little bit of separation from the background and then come back later in Photoshop and draw, drop any color background or any type of background I want in. So I'm also taking pictures of different backgrounds quite often. If I see, I don't know, some interesting moss outside, if uh, I, I don't know, uh, some interesting um, woodwork somewhere, I'll take pictures of them and I can slide that into behind any knife that I want using for something like Adobe Photoshop. Now, one of the toughest things to make completely portable in a photography setup, because it can be so bulky and there can be so much of it, it's the lighting. And I struggled with that for a while, and then one day a brainstorm hit me as I was walking through uh, one of the home improvement stores, and I saw that they had on sale these roll-up window blinds. And I said, hey, that's interesting. So what I did is I went and I bought, I went to a fabric store and bought a bunch of this very uh, sheer translucent um, nylon fabric and I replaced the window shade but uh, uh, I, let, I replaced the window shade material but then I mounted the window shade roller and everything so with a quick pull this rolls back up out of the way or I pull it out and I have these mounts underneath the cabinets that they have a thumb screw on them to tighten them down and they swing in and out and just hook into a piece of half inch copper hard line that I've ran through the bottom of the old window roll material or the window blind. And what this allows me to do is to have a, a nice soft white filtered light onto my knife blade uh, as this is at a 45 degree angle to the lights up above. Now these lights up above are uh, just simple fluorescent lights. Yeah, not something that uh, I imagine a professional photographer would look forward to working with. But the nice thing about these uh, light bulbs, be it fluorescent or anything today, you can get almost any temperature in the color, light color spectrum in these bulbs. And so you can match it up to what you're doing. Uh, and it works really well with the settings on this digital camera. Now, as for my camera mount itself, I could have went with a tripod, but uh, tripods are kind of big and bulky. You're tripping over them. That's not a problem. I have tripods. I just don't want them in my shop, and I don't want to have to put them somewhere when I'm not using them in my shop. So I'm walking back and forth to the house to get my tripods. The other problem is the tripod was up against the counter here, not allowing me to get entirely over the work. Um, this unit uh, was something that I came up with that solved all of those problems. It folds up just as easy as that, just pulls apart and goes into the drawer down below. And all it is, is a steel clamping mechanism that I welded up myself that clamps directly on the edge of the counter. To that, I once again used a half inch uh, hard copper line. You can get it at any plumbing supply, uh, any store that sells plumbing supplies. And then on the top of this is where I did spend just a little bit of money, but not much. Believe me, I went out and found the cheapest tripod I possibly could. Maybe like a $15, $20 tripod at the most. And the reason is, is because it didn't have to be a good tripod. I wasn't looking for stability in the legs. It could be really flimsy because I tore all the bottom of it, all that bottom stuff off and threw it away. All I wanted was this mounting head that the camera would mount on, which I then attached to the copper tubing. And this allows me to go ahead and mount the camera on the top of this unit, aim, put the camera wherever I would like, uh, on a traditional mount. And the fact that it's not really sturdy, that there might be some vibration there, doesn't concern me because the whole system is attached with a USB cable over to my lab computer, which is just a few feet away here. Uh, so all of my photography is actually done remotely through the computer and that's all done with a mouse over there. So there's no vibration or bumping this camera whatsoever. You get to choose your shot before you do it. You can see the lighting, you can see uh, you know, whether it, everything is composed exactly the way you want on the, on the computer monitor. You pull the, the, the mouse trigger, so to speak, and there you are, there's your picture. Now, for the really serious hobbyist and definitely the professional photographers that may be watching this video and saying, what sort of a hack job amateur thing is this? 
All right, I get it. You guys are the professionals, and believe me, when I have to have the very best photos done, you, you are who I'm going to be coming to to get this work done. You have the know-how and you have the equipment. But remember, I'm just a knife maker. I'm not a photographer. But I do have to snap some photos occasionally in my shop, and this has got me by without being a hassle. And everything I've taken with it so far has been published. So I think it's pretty good for the amount of effort that I put into it, the money I spent, and the fact that it folds up and is out of my way in about a minute and a half, three minutes maximum.